Hello there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis. I'm just coming to you today on my channel Why Energy to go over a few energy healing techniques for beginners. Pretty much all of the energy healing how-to things that I do is geared towards beginners. You don't have to be an expert in energy healing to do any of these things, really. I try to gear this towards people who are new to this. And that's what this is going to be. I'm just going to show a few exercises, really easy exercises you can do to help yourself out of different situations. Um, from some logistics first, though, if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. I welcome you with open arms, and I really hope you will be back. I hope this will be helpful to you. If you're not new, and if you have been here before, thank you so much as always, for putting me on the map. I appreciate it. I monetized my channel almost six, six months ago. I was going to say six years. That would have been nice. Six months about. Um, I've gotten, I think, six paychecks now so far from YouTube. So not huge paychecks, but they're getting there. So thank you again. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all that said, I want to get into this for the sake of time. So I'm just going to show a few really quick, easy things you can do for different circumstances. First one is if you have head pain. And at some point I'm going to turn around. I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing when I show you the ancient Chinese secret spot in the back of the head. If you have a problem with headaches and or migraines, this can be helpful. Um, a lot of times I tell people whenever you do energy healing to warm your hands up by rubbing them together. You don't really have to do that for this, but when we get into a couple of other things later on, when I say warm your hands up, it just means rub your hands together for about a minute until they feel warm. But what you want to do if you have head pain is you want to put your hands at the center of your forehead, dig in a little bit, just a little hard, and then just drag across to your temples. Think of it as you're pulling it apart. So into the center, deeply and then pull apart and go to the temples and you can rub the temples as much as you need and you can do this as many times as you need but what you want to do once you've gotten to this point is you want to go back to the center right at pinkies pretty much at the top of the bridge of the nose rest of the fingers on the eyebrows and then just dig deep and go up to your hairline you can hold it at your hairline for as long as you want, but you want to keep doing this. You want to keep going back down, dig in kind of deep, and then just keep going up to the hairline and just go out. So just like I'm doing here, just dig in, go up deep, and just keep going across, all the way across. So again, you're starting at the center and you're slowly moving outwards until you get to the hairline here and just keep going up as many times as you want. You can come back to the center and do this as many times as you need. And you can always come back to the temples because that's a really helpful spot. Um, it's on the triple warmer meridian and it is a really good headache spot. So that's a good way of getting rid of head pain. And if that doesn't work, another thing you can do, I really hope you can see this. When I say the back, the spot in the back of the head, we all have a divot in the back of our head at the base of our skull. If you feel at the base of your skull, at the center, you should feel a divot down here. And what you want to do is take your two fingers and just push them in and vigorously massage back here. And again, I really hope you can see that. You want to dig in pretty deep, almost to the point of pain, not to pain, but to discomfort. And when I say vigorously, I mean dig in deep, dig in deep and hold it down and you can rub it around a little bit, but just hold your fingers there and just dig in. I know it might hurt a little bit, but the pain that you might be feeling back here and breaking up corresponds to the pain in your head. So that can also help with releasing head pain. So that's the first one. That's a way to deal with a headache. Um, one other thing I want to show you really quickly. I like this one because this is what got me into energy healing in the first place because I couldn't get over how much I felt this. This is just doing a shoulder to hip crossover. So you literally you just put your hand on your shoulder. You can breathe in as you're going up. And then as you're going down across to the opposite hip, breathe out and shake your hand out and then go to the other side and go across to the other hip and shake your hand out. That's all that one is. It's a hip to shoulder crossover. What you're doing is you're helping train your energies to be crisscross. That's what you want. You don't want your energies to be like this. You don't want them to be parallel. They need to be crisscrossed. Sometimes they get out of whack 
and it can just make you feel strange. If you find yourself feeling odd and you're not really sure what the problem is, this is a good thing to try out. It's also a good way to wake up too. Um, if you're really, really tired, try doing this. This may help give you a little bit of an energy burst. So there's that. And one last thing I'm going to do is just show you how to release negative feelings, negative, any kind of negativity. If you're feeling anger, this is a good way to get rid of that without hurting anybody. Um, I've shown a couple of different ways of doing this. One way I've learned to do it is to try to put whatever it is, envision whatever is bothering you, and put it in your hands, make fists over it, and then you do an inhale as you bring your hands over, and then exhale as you throw it in front. But this other way I learned I thought was really good too. Um, I'm going to try to stand, but I don't know if that's really going to work. I want you to really just see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to put my arms in front of me like I'm holding a big exercise ball or something. That's what you want to do. Lace your fingers together, hold your arms out in front of you, and just think of it as you've got this big orb in your arms. And what you want to do is breathe in, and you're going to slowly go side to side, and just think of it like you're filling a bag, but what you're putting into the bag is anything and everything that's really bothering you. If there's a person that's bothering you, you're putting them in the bag. If something else, if it's a situation, this involves a lot of visualization, but what you want to do is think about what's bothering you. Imagine that you're holding on to a bag, breathe in and just go side to side, breathe in, bring your hands up. And as you're doing this, just think, that you are putting this thing that's really getting to you in this bag. Bring your arms all the way up until you get to the very top of your head. I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. So you're gonna go all the way up to the top and you're breathing in as you're doing this. And when you're ready, you're gonna let go like you're throwing down what you have. Just make sure you're not aiming it towards any living being. So breathe out and just throw your arms down and shake them out. And if there's any negative energy on your hands, the way to get rid of that is to just rub your hands together and shake them out. So those are just three quick and easy things you can do. I really hope that was helpful. I wanted to just do a quick video because I just got back from Tuxbury from helping my mother out, but I wanted to put a video up to help everyone out. So uh, once again, that was just a couple of quick energy tips for beginners um, or for people who do not feel comfortable yet with working with energy healing. I'm really hoping that was helpful and I hope you felt that. And I guess that's it for now. I will be back as soon as I possibly can be, but I, like I said, I wanted to put a video up to help people out. If that was helpful for you, please share it. Please leave comments down below or a like, whatever. Any kind of interaction is very much appreciated. And as always, I thank you so, so much for your time. I really hope I was audible. Um, I guess that's it for now. Like I said, I will be back and I am sending energy healing your way right now. Thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. And I do hope that was helpful for you. Take care. Peace and light. Namaste.